Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You've learned in Grade 8 that like solids and liquids, gases are also made up of molecules. The properties of gases can be attributed to the random and scattered arrangement of its molecules. This is because gases have very weak intermolecular force of attraction. Let us learn more about behavior of gases in today's lesson. Lesson 2. Behavior of Gases Boyle's Law In the middle of 1600s, Robert Boyle studied the relationship between the pressure and the volume of a confined gas held at constant temperature. Boyle's Law states that in a fixed amount of ideal gas is kept at a fixed temperature, the pressure and volume are inversely proportional that is, when one doubles, the other is reduced by half. To understand better Boyle's Law, let's have the following situation. Here we have a container with fixed amount of an ideal gas and constant temperature. As the volume increases, the pressure of the gas decreases. This can happen at constant temperature and fixed amount of gas. Let's have this as initial observation. And suddenly, a change happened. But still, the temperature and the amount of gas are constant. This time, the volume decreases and the pressure increases. Again, this happened at constant temperature and fixed amount of gas. We can consider this change as the final volume and pressure of the gas. The observations can be expressed using the following formula. We can have initial pressure is inversely proportional to initial volume or the product of initial pressure and initial volume is equal to the K constant which is the temperature and fixed amount of gas for the final observation we can also say that final pressure is inversely proportional to final volume or product of final pressure and final volume is equal to K constant which is again it is the constant body of temperature and fixed amount of gas. Since the product of initial pressure and initial volume is equal to K constant, and same with final pressure and final volume, then we can express Boyle's law in the following equation, where P sub 1, V sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 times V sub 2. Always remember that Boyle's law equation can be used only if the temperature and amount of gas are constant. Let's have an experiment. Analyze the following virtual experiment. Record the pressure and volume on a piece of paper. Then answer the questions that follows. Let us start. Carefully observe the relationship between gas pressure and volume at constant temperature and amount of gas. You may pause this video as you record the data of pressure and volume. If pressure and volume data will be plotted on a graph, it will form this kind of graph. What does it mean? Answer the following questions. Number 1. What happens to the volume of the gas as its pressures increases? Number 2. If the pressure will be decreased, what will happen to the volume? What is the product value of volume and pressure? Number 4. What were held constant in the virtual experiment? And lastly, describe the relationship between the volume and pressure of a gas based on the graph. You may pause this video as you answer the questions. Let us answer. For the first question, what happens to the volume of the gas as its pressure increases? The answer is that, as pressure increases, the volume decreases. For the second question, if the pressure will be decreased, what will happen to the volume? And the answer is, if the pressure will be decreased, the volume will increase. For the third question, what is the product value of volume and pressure? Observe the product of each pressure and volume. The product of each volume and pressure is equal to 10 million, which is the value of the K constant. 
For question number 4, the temperature and the amount of gas were held constant. And lastly, for number 5, describe the relationship between the volume and pressure of a gas. Based on the graph, the relationship between pressure and volume is inversely proportional at constant temperature and amount of gas. This means as the pressure increases, the volume will decrease, and vice versa. Let us solve some problems using Boyle's Law Equation. In Boyle's Law Equation, the equation is Initial pressure times initial volume is equal to final pressure times final volume. Remember, the K constant is the temperature and the amount of gas. Problem number 1. A gas occupying a 4.0 liter flask at 760 torr can expand to a volume of 8,000 milliliters at constant temperature. Calculate the final pressure. First, let's identify the given, or the known values. We have the initial volume, which is 4.0 liters, initial pressure, 760 torr, and the final volume, which is 8,000 milliliters. For the required, we are looking for the final pressure of the gas. For our equation, we will be using the Boyle's Law equation, or we can have the derived version of it which is final pressure is equal to the ratio of the product of initial pressure times initial volume over final volume. For our solution, before we substitute the values, let us first convert or change the unit of the final volume from milliliters to liters. Remember, 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So the value of our final volume in liters is 8 liters. Since the unit of initial and final volume are the same, we can now substitute it in our derived equation, where final pressure is equal to 760 torr times 4.0 liters divided by 8 liters. We can cancel the unit liters, having just torr as our unit. So 3040 divided by 8, our final pressure is equal to 380 torr. Remember, from the problem, it says that the volume expanded. Therefore, the pressure it will experience a decrease. So from 760 torr, it is now 380 torr. This can happen only if the amount of gas and temperature are constant. Here is problem number 2. The volume of a helium balloon is 0.85 liters at 1.0 atmosphere. How much is the change in the volume of the helium balloon if the pressure is increased to 2.0 atmosphere. In this problem, we are looking for the change in volume or the difference of the final volume and initial volume. To solve the problem, let's identify first the given. The initial volume is equal to 0.85 liters, initial pressure is equal to 1.0 atmosphere, and the final pressure is equal to 2.0 atmosphere. For the required, we are looking for the change in volume. For this problem, we will be using the Boyle's Law equation to find the value of the final volume. To get the change in volume, we will get the difference between the final volume and initial volume. For our solution, first we need to use the Boyle's Law equation to find the value of the final volume, where 1.0 atmosphere times 0.85 liters over 2.0 atmosphere, we can now cancel the unit atmosphere having just liter as our unit. The value of the final volume is equal to 0.425 liters. Now we can get the change in volume. 0.425 liters minus 0.85 liters. The change in volume is equal to negative 0.425 liters. Please take note, the negative sign means the volume was decreased by 0.425 liters, thus allowing the pressure to increase. Now it's your turn to answer a problem. Get a piece of paper and a pen. Answer the following problem. Let's start. Here is the problem. The gas in a balloon has a volume of 0.60 liters at 101.325 kilopascal. The balloon is released into the atmosphere and the balloon expands to 1.0 liters. 
without a change in the temperature. What is the new pressure of the balloon? You may pause this video as you answer the problem. Let us answer. Let's identify the given. Initial volume is equal to 0.60 liters. Initial pressure is 101.325 kilopascal. Final volume is equal to 1.0 liters. For our required, we are looking for the final pressure. In this gas law problem, we will be using the Boyle's law equation since the temperature and the amount of gas are constant. For our solution, we will be using our derived equation which is final pressure is equal to the ratio of initial pressure times initial volume over final volume. Let's substitute the values, cancelling the unit for volume. Our final pressure is equal to 60.796 kilopascal. Or the final pressure is 61 kilopascal. Remember, since the balloon expanded at constant temperature, the pressure will decrease from 101.325 kilopascal to 61 kilopascal. Here are some application of Boyle's Law. A syringe is a medical device that is normally used to withdraw or inject fluid from a patient's body. When the plunger on a sealed syringe is pushed, the pressure increases and the volume decreases. Deep sea fish die when they are brought from the depths to the surface. The pressure decreases dramatically as deep sea fishes are raised increasing the volume of gases in their blood and swim bladder. Essentially, the fish pop. The next application of Boyle's Law is the storage of gas. In order to store gas in a small container, gases are highly pressurized, resulting in the reduction of the volume of the gas. The mechanics of human breathing is strictly follows Boyle's Law. According to Boyle's Law definition, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. As we all know, the mechanics of breathing or respiration involve two different processes, exhale and inhale. When we inhale, the volume of the lungs increases, which in turn decreases the pressure inside the lungs compared to the outer atmosphere. However, when we exhale, the volume of the lungs decreases, which in turn increases the pressure inside the lungs compared to the outer atmosphere. Boyle's Law is also applied to scuba divers. If a scuba diver returns to the surface too quickly, dissolved gases in the blood expand and form bubbles, which can get stuck in capillaries and organs. Can you think of other applications of Boyle's Law? Boyle's Law is an ideal gas law that tells the relationship between pressure and volume at a constant temperature and fixed amount of gas. Because of Boyle's Law, we can better understand the behavior of gases at different conditions. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.